Oh, hello, mate. Good to see you again. I assume you're here to see Sean. You assume correctly, is he here? No. And he's not due to start a shift for a while. Everything all right? Uh, I don't know. Is it? According to Sean, I'm weird and emotionally stunted. He said he'd rather go out with Alexa. Hold on, I, I thought he was texting you to meet up again. Meet up? Tell me he never wants to see me again. Do you know what? He's right. I am weird. Do you know what I wanted to be when I was a kid? Dentist? Exactly. I mean, what sort of sick and twisted kid wants to drill people's teeth? Yeah. I don't feel very well. Um, well, maybe we should get you outside for a bit? No, I'm not going anywhere until he gets here. Who were you on the phone to before? Uh, my ex-mother-in-law. Pourquoi? It's the anniversary of Lindsay's death. And is that today? Should have told you. That's why I cried off over Christmas. I'm no good at this time of year. Still, I feel tremendous guilt. What happened? I should never have married her. So unfair of me. I mean, how did she die? Suddenly. Well, if there's anything I can do. You could help me choose some flowers. That gentleman there with the clipboard is Robert. He's sort of in charge of things. Can you no. name all of Santa's eight reindeers? Can you name all of Santa's eight reindeers? <laughs> Dancer and Donna, Cupid, Donna yeah, and Dancer, and Cupid and Blitzen and... Now you've repeated Donna, Donna twice Donna. there. Okay. <laughs> Dark motion sickness test. No. Uh, we'll do that now, so if you could step down. All right, explain to me. You're going to spin right. him around 15 so times and you're going to throw the dart to the dartboard. Spin around 15 times and you have to throw the dart to the dartboard and you have to score a minimum of 10. <laughs> okay. All right, you hold those. Stand by. Okay, spin him 15 times and yeah. go. One, two, three. <laughs> what are you watching? One of those true crime things. Believe it or not, my late wife's passing is my business, not yours, or Sean's, or anyone else's. Have you spoken to him, then? When I'm good and ready, I'll tell him about the most harrowing week of my life. But until then, I'd rather amateur conspiracy theorists who make unwanted advances keep out of my way. Circumstances were murky. Have you ever lost anyone? Yeah, I have. Me and Sarah lost a baby. Before I knew for sure that I was gay. I knew I was gay. But I thought I could make it work. So I know all about loss, if that's where you're going with this. Do you rush to tell your new boyfriends about how your baby died? No. Then you'll understand. My son, he didn't fall off a mountain. I could tell you exactly what happened right now. But why should I? You're not my friend. And I don't trust you anymore. So go on then. Where are they? <laughs> Where are what? The hidden cameras. I mean, this must be a setup, right? As I've explained to you several times now, it's not a police matter. But I didn't do anything wrong. I was over the white line about this much. Then you were parked illegally. So they told my car away and you're not going to do anything? I'm doing my job. Oh, yeah. And I bet it makes you dead proud and all, eh? Lying in bed at night, bigging yourself up while next door's getting burgled. Of course, we could always continue this discussion down the station. No, yeah. no, no, we're all right, aren't we? Aren't we? Come on. 
You bang on my door like that again and I'll sling you over the balcony. Do I you want my me? money, Jackson. You'll get it. I've told you a thousand times. Yeah, yeah, I've heard you talk. Now I want to see my rent. What kid's in there and you're scaring him? Oh, scaring him, Mama. Well, I'm going to do a lot more than that if I don't get my cash soon. You'll get it tomorrow. Look, I'm not messing around here. If I don't get it by this time tomorrow, me and a few lads are going to come round and redecorate. And that includes you. Serena was living out on the street and Cindy asked me to find her somewhere to stay for a few days. Keep her hidden out of the way, she said, until she could get hold of some money to give her. Why would she give her money? Beats me. The only thing that makes sense to me is that maybe Serena was blackmailing Cindy. So you stashed Serena away while Cindy got the money to pay her off. Then what? Cindy got ten grand out of the bank and I was supposed to meet Serena today to hand it over. Ten grand? Is that all? I just assumed it was a down payment. The money's hidden in my flat. That's why I went back there. Cindy said she would explain everything when I handed over the money. That's all I know. Andy, let me get this straight. You were going to meet Serena later today. Where? Candy Park, four o'clock. That's not all I... I spilled my guts to those two geezers. Told them the time and the place. They're going to be waiting for her. We had to operate. It was very serious, I'm afraid. The only way to save her was to perform a hysterectomy. No. Please, no. She's only 23. But surely there was something you could have done. I'm sorry. I wish we could. We really had no choice. Howard, listen to me. It's okay. I know what you're saying, and if Lucy needs us, we'll be there for her. That's not what I'm saying. We just need to face up to the fact that things might not work out as we planned. Lucy might not want to let her go. But this is our baby. Now she wants to keep her. She doesn't know what she wants yet. We need to let her make that choice. Howard. Well, it's just, there was you sinking double whiskies in the pub. But Pete says you're skint. Can't pay your bills. What I can or can't do is none of your business. I'm just trying to help. Here, have a few quid on me. 